Tyra! 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 Blow that flute thing, girl! You're amazing! I was so embarrassed that I dropped my clarinet and ran off the stage. Usually, jocks don't show up to classical music concerts. But here they were, a bunch of sweaty footballers at one of my biggest performances of the year. Why did they show up and why were they cheering for me? Well, to put it simply, I'm hot. Most girls would kill to be in my shoes and as far as I was concerned, they could have them. My looks created more problems than anything in my life and if you think that's totally crazy, keep watching while I explain. So, I've already established that I absolutely hate how hot I am. I'm popular at school, but I never asked to be. Guys think I'm the most gorgeous girl they've ever seen, and all the girls want to be my friend because they think that if they're around me, they might get noticed by the guys they like. I kept facing disappointment after disappointment. For example, my best friend since kindergarten was a girl named Steffi. We did everything together, and I thought we'd be friends for life. But when I started developing curves and attracting a lot of attention, she sort of changed. She became a bit distant and she didn't want to hang out as often as before. Then one day I was watching a video on her phone when a message popped up. It was from Ralph, a guy she liked. He was telling her that he wanted her to introduce him to me. She replied that I was smelly, annoying, and that I snored. Then I saw another conversation between her and Samantha, a girl from my class who hated me. They were both saying lots of horrible things about me. I couldn't believe it. I took her phone and smashed it on the floor in front of her. Clarinet won't pay the bills. But do you know how many millions you can make with that face and body of yours? I don't know why you can't be more like your sister. She just accepted a major gig in LA and she gets to travel in private jets and she will pay the bills. But do you know how many millions you can make with that face and body of yours? I don't know why you can't be more like your sister. She just accepted a major gig in LA and she gets to travel in private jets and she's met so many celebrities. You're just going to clarinet concerts? Come on, child. You make no sense. I nodded my head and went to my room. With so much uncertainty in the world today, I should have been grateful that my family had already created a successful career path for me. My mom inherited a modeling firm from her mother who made her promise that we'd continue for generations. So from a very early age, my mom controlled what I wore, ate, how I did my hair, almost every other thing I do with my looks. I hated it all, and playing music was the only way I found any peace. While sitting on my bed, I was just filled with millions of thoughts. I was already 15, and if I didn't take my life into my own hands right now, what would happen to me? I decided that I would make an effort to dress as ugly as I could so that everyone would just view me as an average girl. After my suspension period was over, I went to school in a pair of baggy pants and an oversized t-shirt. And do you know what? The guy still wouldn't leave me alone! In fact, the day after that, some girls tried to imitate me by wearing the same thing to school, thinking that this was the fashionable thing to do now. I became so overwhelmed that I broke down in math class. I put my head on the desk so no one would notice I was crying and after class was over, I didn't get up until after everyone had left. Well, at least I thought that everyone had left. Somehow, the teacher, Mr. Davis, was still there. Hey, Dyra, why are you crying? Everything? You can speak to me. I'll try my best to help. I decided to open up to him about everything and he seemed like he was sorry for me. I'm sorry you're going through this. If you ever need a place to hide away from the other students during lunch, you can come here. Really, Mr. D? Yes. I was relieved that I had a place to escape from all these stupid, hormonal teenage boys. But that didn't really fix most of my problems, because that week, my mom told me she booked my first photo shoot with a top photographer and they wanted me to be on the cover of the firm's magazine. My house, my rules. You either abide by them, or you can go sleep on the streets! Was she for real? So I sucked it up like a big girl and did the photo shoot. In a polka dot bikini, looking like an idiot. It took hours of posing in different positions and my eyes really hurt from the flash. I went home angry and went to school even angrier the next day. But I wasn't ready for what was in store for me. Hey babe, you look really hot in that bikini. Why don't you wear it to school sometime? 
Yeah, Dyra, you're a total hottie. Why don't you stop me for what was in store for me? Hey, babe, you look really hot in that bikini. Why don't you wear it to school sometime? Yeah, Dyra, you're a total hottie. Why don't you stop playing hard to get and just be my girlfriend already? Hey, gorgeous, can I have your autograph? How oh, could my picture have leaked? I called my mom immediately. Mom, everyone at school has seen the pictures from the photo shoot. Oh, yes, I've been meaning to tell you about that. We started an Instagram page for you. It's good marketing. You already have 10,000 followers. You did this without asking me? I don't have to ask you. You're my daughter. Anyway, get home before 5 because you've got another shoot tonight. I hung up on her and could barely breathe because I was so angry. Instead of going to my first class, I went to Mr. Davis's room and started crying again. Hey, what are you sad about now? I couldn't explain anything, so he left the room to give me some privacy. After about an hour, I calmed down a bit. I decided to get started on one of my assignments, but I'd forgotten my pencil case at home. I walked over to Mr. Davis's desk to get a pen, and while looking, I noticed that he had a folder on his computer named... Diara. Huh? I thought. I opened the folder. And there were my bikini pictures! Why was this old man saving my pictures? I felt betrayed because he was just like the others. And at that moment, he walked in. You're a disgusting old man. I thought I could trust you. What are you talking about? Why are my pictures saved on your computer? He stood there shocked while I marched out of the room. I went to my classes and had a really horrible day. And then I went home to my mom so I could go to the second photo shoot. She greeted me looking excited as a child who saw ice cream for the first time. Check out your Instagram page. It's blowing up. But look at this. She opened the direct messages and there was a message from Dolce and Gabbana asking me to model their clothes. Most girls don't get opportunities like these, you know. Mom, I know, but I really don't want to do this. In fact, I'm not going to the second stupid photo shoot. I went to my room, shut the door, and began practicing my clarinet. She banged on the door, but I ignored her. The next day, school was the same nonsense at first, but after lunch, the principal came to get me from class. He took me to his office, and Mr. Davis was there with my mother. What's going on? Dyra, you didn't give me a chance to explain. I saved your pictures because I was trying to make a case for you. Child labor is not legal in this country, and you can't be forced to work against your will. You saved my daughter's pictures, you sick man! You're a sick man, and you can't be forced to work against your will. You saved my daughter's pictures, you sick man! You're a sick woman for forcing her to model in bikinis at 15 years old. Now, now, please stop fighting. Miss Taylor, we are very concerned about Dyra's well-being. She's clearly not happy, and she can be taken away from you if you're forcing her to work. Dyra, do you want to explain your feelings? I just want to be loved for who I am and not what I look like. I don't want to go through my whole life just being judged on the shape of my curves or how perfect my smile is. And what happens when I get old? You'll have a daughter to take over the business, silly. Mom, I'm not happy. When we went home that evening, my mom had softened a bit. She didn't mention anything about modeling or the Instagram page. She approached me with her best idea yet. Hey, do you want to go stay with your dad's mom in the countryside for a while? Yeah, I won't have to go to school while I'm there, will I? No, I just think you need a break from everything. That weekend, I went to my grandma's house, and I stayed with her for two weeks. It was the most refreshing thing I'd ever experienced, because no one was around judging my looks. I could practice the clarinet while sitting in the grass looking up at the sky, and I had no worries at all. When it was time to go back home, I could have cried. I packed my things, and my grandma called a taxi. When we got to the house, I carried my luggage to the front door and opened it. But my house was empty. There were only windows, walls, and floors. That's it. Mom? Diane? Anyone? I tried calling her cell phone, but there was no answer. 
I went to my room and somehow all my things were there. Then something caught my eye. There was an envelope on my bed with my name on it. I opened it and there was a letter inside. It read, Dear Diara, It's clear that you don't support the vision of this family. We've moved to LA because your sister found a way to expand our business over there. I already sold this house, but I left her things so that you can sort through them. You can go back to living with your grandma if you want, but if you ever have a change of heart, you can start modeling and join us down here. Have fun with your clarinet. P.S. You don't know what you're missing. I wasn't even upset, to be honest. I grabbed my things and ran after the taxi driver before he could get away. He took me straight back to my grandma's house. And now I'm finally living my dream.